All right, this is a pneumatic elevator. It works on vacuuming. So it provides an envelope of suction on the top that brings the elevator from the bottom floor to this floor. It uses a 30 amp, 220 volt power supply and a telephone circuit. And that's it. The, uh, the light on the inside of it does come on when you open the door. I've already done that. It has a telephone in here in case you get in an issue, but it also should be able to go between floors when it loses power. It's a little loud in here, um, kind of like a vacuum, like a household vacuum. But when you get to the first floor, you can then push to open. So it's got a dual door system, an interior and an exterior door. The, uh, this is the interior, and then this is the exterior. So there's, um, for safety stuff, I'm not sure you know if you would end up getting locked in it at all, um, but it does have, you know, some type of, um, you know, pin that allows you to, you know, insert or open something like fire department. It uses magnets to tell where it's at between floors, upper and lower. There's some air vents down here that allow the release of pressure. Um, there's a chair on the inside of this unit allowing you to sit or set your groceries as you're going between floors. There's a handle in case you need to grab it onto it for you know, safety. The, uh, the rescue procedures claim to be performed by a maintenance service personnel only. You insert the door lock key in the door lock and make a quarter inch turn clockwise to open the door with a triangular door key. Uh, that key is pretty special. Uh, right now it's being kept on the outside of the unit upstairs. Probably should be one on each shelf, on each um, uh, level. Uh, this screwdriver has been attached so that you can open up these panels to access the, um, the locks. Uh, within this space here, it's been modified. Um, this is not part of the original garage. This is a room that was built. It has a motion sensing uh, you know, can light. And then when, when you walk out into the garage, there is a motion sensing ceiling light. So they both work well for this situation. This, uh, this room was built with a fire door and the garage was modified. A new uh, garage door opener will end up going offset from center on the ceiling here to control the garage door. And this room was added per the inspector for code, fire safety, however they saw fit. Uh, because wires were ran across that space that they had to cut a hole into, junctions had to be made and wires had to be uh, lengthened in order to get where they needed to go with the, uh, the structure that was built around it. What they ended up doing on the, bu on the build out was they put a uh, triple laminated beam here and a triple laminated beam here. That allowed them to put a cross beam here and a cross beam back here, allowing for rigidity in the floor joist for the tube to go through the floor joist. So it ends up being it more or less just a big vacuum tube that, go, that attaches to the ground and then in this case goes up to the second floor. Uh, this 
these can go as far as I'm, I know as high as five floors so we're going to take it back up this is the elevator call button in case it's upstairs and then we'll go up door so like I said this is that lockout key the uh, overall it, it works well um, you can kind of see up inside the space the suction that's created in that envelope so there's a gasket that runs around the perimeter and it seats snugly within a tube within a tube and it sucks the air out allowing you to go up. This unit allows for 450 pounds of you know cargo or people to go between floors. And that's the the light turning off by itself. 